am not a big fan of clutter. It clutters your mind. You need to have organization to feel peace and to feel free and to just feel centered. So I also love using what you have. And I'm gonna give you some space-saving secrets. I've invited interior designer and author of Design Rules, Elaine Griffin. Hi. Hi. How are you? How Welcome. How are you? I'm great. So you love, you crave order. I crave order. I do too. And you know what? It's hard today because holler if you're a shopper. Who's a shopper? <laughs> that is why we have too much stuff. Because you see it, it costs you. You got to on sale. You got to stock up. You know, don't let it be going out of business. And so, now you don't even have to leave your house. Right, exactly. Yes. Now, dot com, everything. Yes. It's like the UPS man loves you. The kitchen is one of the worst places. Right. And so you want to start with stuff that you already own, right? We don't really need to run out and get a lot of stuff to be just well organized. This is a wine glass rack that we made from a garden rake. It's like amazing. It's, it's amazing. It's super clever. It's very clever and right? it's a conversation piece. Yes, now obviously we put ours on the door here just for display purposes, but you want to do this on a wall at home so you're, and hi, hi, hang it above the reach of your kids. You just unscrew this from the a garden rake, and then you screw this in. I love thing. it, and you could do several, one for your white wine, one for your red wine. One for your skinny girl wine. Yes, yes. I love it, Thank And you. it's instant access, there yes. you go. I love it, right? okay. Okay, this is a towel bar that you can just put on the inside it's of your amazing. cabinet door, and then you keep your pot lids there. Because this is the most annoying thing, right. the, the clanking of right. the lids that are not stacked properly. Right. That's excellent. It's a towel rack. Right, yes. right. Yes, I like you re repurposing things, using them differently. So. Obsessed living and dying at the same time. Don't you love that? Living and dying. How a, creative is this? A shoe rack. It's a shoe holder that we've repurposed to put your snacks in. Living, and that's probably so cheap, and if you were to build something, it would be so much more expensive. Right? I love it And this so you much. can put anywhere. It can obviously go on the back of the pantry door. You could put it, you know, mommy's on the go. You have to fill your snack bags when you're I'm going taking, out in the I'm day. taking it right now. There you go. On my closet for there my you, daughter. There love. you go. And love. you can even put it like in your foyer closet, so like right before you cruise out with the stroller, it's like you pack your mom bag. I love it, right? I love it. It's a great, great organized idea. All right, and darling. Right. So then, and you can see everything. I like right. it because it's clear. Right. Okay. okay. So canned goods are a problem, right? Does this look familiar? Uh, it's a box. I mean. But where? What was this box in a previous life? Does anyone know what this box was in a previous? <laughs> right. Soda. It's a soda box. This is okay. a soda box. That Love. Was, like gorgeously wrapped. You know, very, very minimalist. And right. craft paper, and it's perfect for canned goods. I love it. And if you're not doing soda. This is a magazine rack. I see. How genius is that? Very genius. You could just like Or they do it. this in like the office supply store for right. just organize, right. organize your files. You know, it's like the metal ones are this a little This is fabulous. Sturdier. Love that. <laughs> I love it. All right, well, I love this. This is my favorite kind of stuff.